startling numbers concerning colon and rectal cancers. Both on the rise in young people. In fact, the American Cancer Society says the rates have increased in every generation since 1950. People born in 1990 or after have double the risk of colon cancer and four times the risk of rectal cancer than previous generations. Colorectal cancer is the third most commonly diagnosed cancer in the United States. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Justin Moore looks closer into these numbers and what it means for you and your family. I think I was, I was surprised so young. I'm only 45. A colonoscopy may have been a lifesaver for Michelle Wisniewski. After a referral to Buffalo Gastroenterology, the 45-year-old learned she had polyps, which could have grown into colon cancer. But not surprised because my father has a history of polyps. Doctors usually don't encourage you to get a colonoscopy until you're 50, but new research is showing that colon cancer is on a steady increase among young adults. In fact, 10% of new colon cancer patients are less than 50 years old. You know, the numbers for patients over the age of 55 uh, are coming down, um, but unfortunately we're seeing a slight increase uh, in patient presentations um, younger than the age of uh, 50 um, over the past 10 to 20 years. Dr. Kanwar Sohal doesn't know exactly why this is, but he says there are things that can increase your risk, such as family health history and even your diet. Personal behaviors, so smoking, alcohol use, uh, excess consumption of red meats and processed meats, these do increase the risk of colon cancer. Colon cancer is the second deadliest cancer. If these little polyps are caught early on with the colonoscopy, it can be treated and cured. I'm a gastroenterologist and I plan on having my colonoscopy within the first few days of my 50th birthday because um, I now I know how important it is and um, and I know what what happens to folks when they wait too long. In Orchard Park, Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News.